Good morning. This is Tom Beal. It is Sunday, 1036 a.m., June 14th. And I have some very exciting news. So uh, this is still, I put this stinky shirt on. I, I, I studied all day yesterday. Read, write, listen, and, and really just delved into literally waking up at 4 a.m. yesterday morning, Saturday the 13th, and staying up to roughly midnight last night, full day of study. There's some weekends that we do lots of fun adventures. You'll see here on my wall of gratitude. We have a lot of fun. And there's some days, days I cave myself in and do nothing but just dive in and seek answers. And you'll notice that I'm, an, I'm someone who has dove in since I first crossed paths with uh, Tony Robbins back in 1989. And actually prior to that being that my mom, let me scroll down and show a couple pictures here. Uh, where's my mom? There she is. Okay, so my mom, right in the middle, that's me and my sisters, and then on the side uh, uh, is me and my, my children, right before my mother passed away in 2007 at 52 years old. Um, but my mom was 17 years old when I was born, and she was a go-getter. She was a hustler. So she sold Avon. She sold uh, Lifetime Pots and Pans. She sold Electrolux vacuum cleaners. She sold Mary Kay. She sold Amway, you know. And so when I was young, I was in the back of the Avon room, you know, while Avon trainings were occurring, while the uh, Lifetime uh, was going on, while the Electrolux trainings were going on. And I would hear a lot of the, I guess you'd call it multi-level marketing trainings, um, and little did I know while I'm playing with my trucks in the back of the room that people that I was learning from would be not only people that would dramatically uh, change the trajectory of my life as the years progressed, but uh, I would be go on to learn directly from many of them. So I actually went and met uh, Zig Ziglar. You probably see here in a little bit some of my mentors and whatnot. But in the back of the room, I was listening to Mary Kay Ash, right? And Mary Kay, you know, for those who don't know, even at a young age, I'm like, dang, this woman is awesome. Like, she's incredible. Her story is highly motivating and inspiring, and especially uh, that, that she was a woman doing all that she did. And uh, it, it, it's, it's tremendous. I mean, she broke down so many barriers uh, to, to bridge that income gap of men and women. So I grew up around that. And uh, uh, I always was curious, right? And so I now have a tattoo here. Here's where my curiosity began. So this is an Egyptian tattoo. And when I was young, I remember watching in our apartment in Canandaigua, New York, the PBS channel, about eight years old. And there was a, a special on Egypt. And the special came on and said, Something along these lines. And it, even today, and so this is, I was I'm eight years old, so this is 1980. Even today, with our technology that we have, we can't recreate the pyramids, and we don't know how they built them, etc. So I yelled to my mom, Mom, do you know how the pyramids were built? She said, no. I said, does anybody know? She's like, I don't think so. I said, and people drive to work? Like, people haven't figured out that we want to figure that out? So I was very curious at a young age, like, wait a minute. Everyone's going about with their day and not paying attention to what appears to me to be very uh, amazing. I'm not sure what just happened there. That's interesting. Okay, cool. The <laughs> technology, fun stuff there. Okay, great. So I, I, I you know, that was a, a brief uh, segue, but uh, I, I want to share. First, let me just get to the chase. This Tuesday, what what's behind me is after all day of digging into my mind and just just taking a look at the environment that's out there, taking a look at what's happening in the world and the massive change that's about to be unfolded, you know, uh, politically, economically, socially, worldwide. This is not a one little area of the world that's be, being affected or impacted. This is a worldwide uh, shift that's occurring, and I'm very excited about this. So I'm going to be sharing and divulging as I scroll through here, you'll notice, you know, I learned from Zig all those years ago. And I said, man, Zig just really touched my heart. It would be great, you know, to share my appreciation to him. And, and I got to meet him several times. I got to meet uh, Bob Proctor, Jay Abraham, Joe Vitale, worked with Mike Vilsame, Rich Sheffrin, uh, Jeff Walker there, you know, and uh, got to meet many of my heroes. Brian Tracy, another hero. Uh, Brett Michaels. I got to meet and hang out with, you know, there's Brett Michaels. Come on. That was a, fa a fantastic, amazing meeting up here. Tone Loke, hanging with Tone Loke and, and Flavor Flav. 
you know, life has unfolded in a manner that has been tremendous. Um, uh, Joe Sugarman, uh, 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 Tony Robbins, obviously there, um, uh, the dude that wrote the book, The Game, uh, all sorts of stuff. Uh, Jim Rohn, that, that's another amazing man. Jeff, Jeffrey Gittimer, uh, Jim Kelly. I've worked with many of my heroes, and this is going back decades. Now, the funny part is, for some reason, I have been that student and have been plugged in, you know, so working with Mike Phil Same and Rich Sheffern over here, right? Uh, Mike, you know, we, he and I crossed paths actually at this event where I met Joe Vitale um, when we really, really connected. And here's Mike, Joe, and I years later. Uh, you may recognize Joe from the movie The Secret. Anyway, all of this has been years of me being curious and working with Mike Phil Same and Rich Sheffern unlocked me to tap into and work with some of the br best and most brilliant marketing minds alive. You know, many of them you've seen in these pictures already, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. There's much, much more. And long story short, um, you know, there's some there's some funny stories and quotes, right? So working with Mike and Rich, uh, it, it you know they're highly, highly amazing and great friends of mine and super brilliant. But it was funny because like Tom, why are you? I kind of liked the behind the scenes type of thing, you know, and it reminds me of actually a story that uh, Tony Robbins shares. Where's Tony? Tony Robbins shares a story if you ever listen to Personal Power, and the story goes something like this, where when he finally built or, or moved into that castle in San Diego, he was traveling like 350 days a year, and he tells a funny story. He's like, you know, here I am busting my hump, and I'm calling back and checking in on the castle, and he has the, the, the house person, the person that's taking care of the house. And he's like, she's living in my castle. When I call her, she, she's working out in my gym. She's lost like all this weight. She's in the greatest shape of her life. She's using the jacuzzi, using, you know, enjoying my castle while I'm traveling 350 days a year. And she's like, he's like, she has a better life than me, right? So the funny story is, and Mike and I and, and Rich, we joke about it too. Like by me taking that, that behind the scenes role, like, I wasn't necessarily like that exact story that Tony talks about, but I didn't have the full on stress that Rich and Mike had as the behind the scenes person. I was compensated very well, yet didn't have to be that front facing person. And I kind of enjoyed that role for a long time. And I will say it kind of slipped me into a comfort zone. Um, but at the same time, those who knew me from working with Mike and working with Rich not only was I able to have one-on-one -on -one interaction with them, but many times they're like, okay, great, Mike, yeah, great, great, I want to talk to Tom, or great, Rich, yeah, yeah, I want to talk to Tom. Like, they respect my opinion and, and insights because of me being that uh, consummate student, being that person who sought answers and being the person who was able to implement. And yes, Mike and Rich are absolutely brilliant, but I see things from my unique personality, my unique experience, my unique perspectives which have also led me to the top of numerous unrelated fields, to being a top wrestler, a national bicycle champion, uh, 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 freestyle rider, to being the number one honor man out of the United States Marine Corps boot camp, number one in five sales organizations in the corporate world, and produce multiple tens of millions of dollars uh, in online results, working with Mike Filsame, Rich Sheffern, and numerous other top marketers around the globe. And then working with my heroes and having that come full cir circle of like the people that I loved and respected, circled around to where now they're getting my advice. And many times I'm coaching them and helping them, right? So with all the things that are happening, I mean, geez, look, look at this. It's been such an, I, and this, by the way, is a hint right here. If you aren't able to join on Tuesday, this alone is something I would highly recommend you do. This is something I got from one of my mentors that you saw here, Zig Ziglar, uh, the wall of gratitude. Like this makes me smile. Like I go back here and like, man, look, I remember when I, when I met Don LaPree. I remember how that happened. I remember all the great times I had with Jeffrey Gittimer, introducing him to Jim Kelly, working with Jim Kelly, my hero. Like, I'm from upstate New York. Jim Kelly went to four Super Bowls in a row with the Buffalo Bills. I interviewed Jim in his basement at his house where he used to hold those epic parties. His story is incredible. He's an amazing human being. Same with Jeffrey Gittimer. Met Jeffrey. Introduced them. They actually have a book. Jeffrey, I got to get this to you. They have a book that's been done for ages with numerous hours of video that's been done for ages that's never been released, and it's amazing. So anyhow, there's so much of great stories and memories. Meeting Jim Rohn, my, you know, the hero. The dude is amazing. Hanging out with Tony Robbins in his island in Fiji. You know, all this stuff. So if you don't have a wall of gratitude, I would recommend you create it. I mean, this is amazing. I mean, that's John Paul DeGiorio, uh, the, the billionaire who owns uh, the hair products, uh, the 
Mitchell, Paul Mitchell hair products and Patron, uh, you know, and Mark Victor Hansen and, you know, uh, Mark Ford. And it's just, it's just amazing. Like the journey has been incredible. Uh, wrestling with Russell Brunson. We need a rematch. Uh, it's time for, time for me to fly out there and, and have, have a great, uh, roll around the mats with Russell. Hanging out with, uh, Brendan Burchard and Rich Shefford. Brendan giving us a tour out in the West Coast there. Evan Pagan, you know, it just goes on and on and on. So yesterday when I sat there, just dissecting where are we in this world and and where and how is it from what I've gathered and the insights that I've gleaned and the life that I've lived and the joy that I feel, how can I pass that on and how can I add some excitement? How can I add some passion? How can I add some inspiration uh, to you uh, and to whoever is fortunate enough to be on the training tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern to amp up your Taking your life from where you are to where you want to be. Tapping into your personality, your experience, your perspective. Lighting a fire, getting that burning desire, the number one first trait that Napoleon Hill talked about. With that burning desire, no boundaries, no, no obstacles, no barriers will hold you back. You will, with that burning desire, do whatever it takes for as long as it takes until you get from here to there. Because you're clear on where you want to go. So I sat down. And dove into that yesterday and just really got clear, got happy, got joyful. I recorded a video yesterday and before I record it, you know, just like this one, I don't have an exact plan. I just push play and here we go. It's going to go where it needs to go. And I trust that it's going to go where it needs to go. But I said, okay, I'll stay calm. I won't get fired up. I got a little fired up because I think it's appropriate to get a little fired up right now. And, and not fired up in a negative way, but in a positive way. And so now I'm even more fired up because this is my invitation to you. For those who have attended my weekly trainings, I do a weekly training uh, for my great friend and, and former business partner, uh, Mike Filsame, and his, his partners in uh, his new company. Um, and it's happening on this Tuesday evening at 6 p.m. It's a program that only goes to their clients, but the clients used to pay $99 per month. With all this craziness that's happened in the world, they've gifted it taking away the $99 per month, giving it to people for free and with no credit card required. It's not free, a free trial and there's a credit card that's going to bill you. Get it for free and then they invite you into the Facebook group and that's where the live training this Tuesday at 6 p.m. Eastern is going to occur. You can get it by going to the URL here, tombeal.com forward slash groovy. That's where you go, register for free. You'll be invited to the Facebook group and that's where this training is going to be. And on the training, I'm going to go through, it's hard to do this with a camera, that all of that behind me is going to be reviewed to amplify and add a sense of urgency to you, to help you gain clarity on where you are, where you're going, how you can take your unique personality experience and perspective, put it together in a way to share it, right? Because that's, that's what I'm doing right now is sharing my experiences of how I went from being that person born to teenagers, 17-year-old mother, 19-year-old father, living around four divorces and six marriages, going to nine different schools by eighth grade. Always in and out of family, which, which by the way, you know, has been a lot of work for me to, um, I guess, uncover uh, and, and dump a lot of that baggage that I carried around. You know, the reason that I was the, the national bicycle champion, the top wrestler, the number one in five sales organizations, and all that was more of a, hey, look at me. Am I worthy now? Do you love me now? Like, because through all that, uh, there was a lot of stuff that made me feel unlovable, unworthy, you know, and so working through that. Um, I have been able to not just release that baggage, which helps you feel lighter and more joyous, but help others release the baggage. Because guess what? We're all human. And guess what? I am imperfectly perfect or perfectly imperfect, however you want to claim that, as are you, as is everyone else. And so you take the best and you leave the rest. But there's a way to do this and win this game of life. And if you look at this, you'll probably recognize many other faces here. Um, that's the, the level of people that helped me disseminate how I do what I do and how I can impart that to you and share that with you to open your eyes, to drop the veil of fear, worry, insecurities, uh, feeling if you need to prove your worthiness or prove that you're lovable or all that craziness and really just get back to the crux of the reality that this journey is brief. You are where you are. You're exactly where you're supposed to be. And now is your time to step up and go for it. So this is by no accident that you're watching this video and our paths cross. I'm looking forward to seeing you this Tuesday. Go register for free at that link. Yes, it's for a business software, but it's for a business software that used to be a $99 per month investment. You go register for free. 
you're going to get access to that incredible software um, and the, no credit card required right not that not a trial or anything like that you go get it you register you're going to be invited to their Facebook page and in there that's where this training is going to occur on Tuesday and this is me dumping my decades of my my seeking the answers into a brief training that can open your eyes to the possibilities that lie ahead for you and that, that all of this this crazy turmoil is the birthing process of a better version and trajectory of what may have been amazing or awesome before this and and or wherever you are right now this is the foundation for your best which is yet to come and I'm going to share this in a manner that I've shared on stages you know uh, around the world and uh, shared with some celebrities I, 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 in the back of the plane I, I, I taught Terrence Howard a lot of this stuff so Yes, I'll, Terrence, I'm taking credit for all the success that since then, right? Um, and, you know, uh, lots of amazing unfoldings have occurred. So I know it works because there's nobody that it hasn't worked for yet. It's opened up people's eyes in small meetings, you know, such as these. You know, this, this meeting here, people invested that one. That one was, well, there was two of them. Uh, and one of them was a 25000 per person uh, to 25,000 euro investment each and what another one we did it was a 15,000 investment euro each and then this was a you know in front of thousands of people in the Netherlands this is in you know small crowds to large crowds this works whether you're just beginning you don't have clarity you have clarity wherever you are in that spectrum this will help fine-tune that for you to get your amplified results and joy and happiness and, and all the stuff because look it's not just about the money it's about are you tapping into what's yours to do and that's what I'm excited to share with you on Tuesday so uh, if you get nothing else and you're like you know what forget it I don't want to go to the Tuesday training whatever create a wall of gratitude I'm smiling inside and outside looking at this this is bringing back memories that go back I mean good lord that was 2007 ish 2007 I remember these. This person's no longer here. Alan, rest in peace. Right? Several of the people here, no longer here. Um, you know, that, that, we're, and that's, that's the other thing. This life is brief, man. So, you know, Alan's gone. Uh, a whole bunch of others that I've scrolled through here are, are gone. Um, and it, it, it's, a, it's a quick journey. And I want it to be one that is memorable. All right. So, Fortin. She's, she's gone now too. So, uh, yeah, lots, lots of great memories in here. Uh, but I want that for you. Oh, and then childhood, right? How quickly life goes by, how fast the Marine Corps days, the bicycle days, you know, the, the my stepbrother who went on to be, you know, he, he's my little brother, but he's six foot four. He, he played in the NFL for, for numerous years, was one of the best defensive linemen, uh, from 97 to 07. Great dude. Um, lots of fun memories here. If you get nothing else, go create a wall of gratitude. You're going to have a blast. Me speaking on stage in front of 500 successful people in a Borat mankini, talking about the power of stepping out of your comfort zone. Lots of fun stuff. We're going to get into it on Tuesday evening. Uh, and I'm just sharing this as my invitation to you. Go to uh, tombeal.com forward slash groovy, register for free, and you'll be invited to the Facebook group. And inside the Facebook group, that's where... Oh, Clayton's gone as well. Clayton just recently. Clayton, oh man, thank you for all you did as well. It's it's it's, it's uh, amazing to flip through this and reflect back on the memories. All right, so uh, good good stuff here. All right, so I will see you on Tuesday, 6 p.m. Eastern. Um, go to tombeal.com forward slash groovy. Ah, and and one of the co-founders uh, is my other good friend here. So this is this is uh, John Cornetta. So, and John Cornetta did, and I did some events together. So there's us at one of the events we did together. And, and John is another co-founder, uh, you know, so previous partner in some projects that we did. And, and Mike feels same, another previous partner, all in uh, this amazing software. You'll get at tombeal.com forward slash groovy. They'll invite you to the Facebook group. That will allow you to be notified inside the Facebook group is where the live event's going to happen. And I'm looking forward to seeing you there and getting your feedback because what I put here summarizes literally decades of research of what it really takes to open your eyes to just say, you know what, I'm going for it. And uh, I'm excited to hear your feedback. So I'll see you there until we speak on Tuesday. Make today great. I'll talk with you soon. Bye for now.